Simple harmonic motion is the motion that a pendulum undergoes for example, and is defined as acceleration is proportional to the displacement from the equilibrium position and is always directed towards the equilibrium position. If you were to plot a graph of displacement against time for this pendulum, it would look like this. You can work out what the velocity time graph would look like by thinking about what the velocity would be at key points. When the displacement is zero, the velocity is a maximum. When the displacement is a maximum, the velocity is zero because it has reached its turning point. Using this we can join up the points to give this curve. The acceleration time graph is easier to work out, because it is proportional to the displacement but directed in the opposite direction, so the graph would look like this. The formula for the displacement of a body undergoing simple harmonic motion is x equals a cos 2 pi ft, where a is the amplitude in meters, f is the frequency in hertz, and t is the time in seconds. For example, a pendulum swings with an amplitude of 50 millimeters and has a frequency of 0.5 hertz. To find the time that the pendulum has a displacement of 20 millimeters, we can just rearrange for t to give 0.369 seconds. The formula for the maximum speed of a body undergoing simple harmonic motion is v max equals 2 pi f a. Therefore, the maximum speed of the pendulum would be 0.157 meters per second. Furthermore, the equation for the acceleration of a body in simple harmonic motion is a equals minus 2 pi f squared x. This shows that the acceleration is directly proportional to the displacement and that it is always directed towards the equilibrium position. Hence, we can work out the acceleration at 20 millimeters to be minus 0.197 meters per second squared. When a pendulum is displaced from equilibrium, it gains gravitational potential energy. When the pendulum is released, the gravitational potential energy gets converted to kinetic energy, and is entirely kinetic energy when the pendulum passes through the equilibrium position. The pendulum will only come to rest due to air resistance, but a perfect theoretical pendulum would go on forever. If we were to plot an energy displacement graph, we could show the kinetic energy and potential energy as two parabolas that look like reflections of each other. This is because the energy is being converted between the two forms, but the total energy is always conserved. When the oscillations of a body gradually come to rest, it is said to be damped, and is the case with most things. For example, a swing in a playground will eventually come to rest because of the air resistance and the friction at the hinges. If we were to sketch a graph of displacement against time for a damped swing, it would look something like this. This is said to be lightly damped because it continues to oscillate until it comes to rest. There are two other types of damping called heavy damping and critical damping. Heavy damping is useful for preventing door slamming shut because it smooths out the oscillations to rest. Critical damping is the quickest time the oscillating body can be brought to rest. Resonance is a large increase in the amplitude of an oscillating system when the driving frequency matches the natural frequency of the system. When this happens, the amplitude of oscillations is a maximum. For example, when you swing your legs on a swing to make it go higher. If we were to sketch a graph of the amplitude against the driving frequency, it would look like this. Damping also has an effect on resonance, and the graph of a damped system would look more like this. The resonance frequency has decreased as shown by the peak being more towards the left on the graph. Resonance isn't always a bad thing though such as in earthquakes. It's what causes the water molecules to vibrate in a microwave oven, which ultimately heats your microwave meal. Thanks for watching. Make sure to hit the like button if you liked the video and if you want to see some more, you can subscribe.